In this lesson, we will install the Apache Maven tool on our local machines. This will allow us to work through all of the examples within the course. To begin, we're going to navigate to the Maven website, which is located at maven.apache.org. And once we are on the website, we will navigate to the download section. So you'll see the link to download Maven on this left-hand navigation panel. Simply click the link, and on the download page, you will see the different versions of Maven. Here we see the current version of Maven, which is Maven 3.2.5. Now there are different distributions of Maven depending on what we would like to do. If we would like to modify the source code of Maven, we can download one of the source distributions. It's provided as a tar file and a zip file, and Maven is open source, so the source is available to us. We're not going to be changing any of Maven source, so we're just going to use the binary zip file. Simply come over to the link and click on the link, and it will prompt you to download the software. It is distributed within a zip file, and we'll just have to extract that on our system to install. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is that Maven has a very small download size. It is 7.7 .7 megabytes, but there are plenty of plugins out there for Maven, and we can also access many dependencies. Well, those plugins do not come packed within Maven, so they are not included within the installation folder. But given Maven's dependency manager, it's able to reach out and grab the plugins it needs. And that allows it to have this small distribution size, yet still have the ability to use numerous plugins. So I have already downloaded the zip file to install Maven. So I'm just going to cancel this download and we'll head to my desktop where I have placed the Apache Maven 3.25 bin.zip file. So that's everything we need to install. I'm going to extract the file to my desktop and I'm going to place it within my software directory and that's where I keep all of my development software. So there we see the Apache Maven 3.2.5 directory which has been extracted. And then within that directory, we have a readme.txt file. And if we open that guy up, we will see that there are some installation instructions within this file. So here you see the directions for installing Maven. And it's pretty simple. There's five steps, and we've already completed two of them. So we need to unpack the archive. Then we need to extract it and then we place the bin directory on our path. So that's the step we're on, and that's the next one we will complete. If you double click on the bin directory, you can then grab this path and copy it to your clipboard. And now we're going to navigate to our computer screen, and within the computer screen, you'll see the system properties. Simply click on those system properties, and then you will see the advanced system settings on the left-hand side, and then we can specify our environment variables. Now, the environment variable that we are concerned with is the path on the system environment variables. Now, the path is where Windows looks for programs that we have placed. So when we execute something within a command line, Windows will look on our path to see if there's a program that can execute the given command. So what we're going to do is simply end our path with a semicolon, and then we're going to paste that path to Maven's bin directory on our path environment variable. So once that's in place, we can click OK, and that will add that directory to our path, and it's now available when we want to execute a command within Windows. Now, one important thing is that you have the Java JDK on your path. Installing the JDK is pretty simple, and it's outside the scope of this course. Uh, it's assumed that you would have that knowledge prior to entering this course. So just make sure that you have Java installed prior to installing Maven. So just click OK and click OK once again. And at this point, you should have Maven installed. To validate the installation, open up a command prompt, 
and within the command prompt, type mvn-version. And this will display the Maven version, and it will allow us to confirm that we have properly installed the software. So you'll see that we received the Apache Maven 3.25 version. It specified our Maven home, which was that bin directory that we put on our path, and it also spit out some information about the Java version that we are using. So with this information, we can be sure that Maven was installed properly.